Hey everyone, this is S.M. Pratt, and today we have another mail opening video. The box is a bit too large if you're on camera, so I'm just going to take all the contents out, and we're going to go through them as usual. I don't remember everything that I purchased, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I do see a heavy, heavy deck box. We'll save this guy for the end. This right here is just diesel. Like, this thing's like 10 pounds. So we'll save that for the end because this is full of cards. I think I remember the purchase. I remember buying a collection, so... That'll be our grand finale there. But we'll go ahead and get started with some of these packaging. We're going to go through the booby traps here. That is Japanese packaging. This guy actually wasn't too bad. This is a friendly, very friendly one right here. So to start us off, please believe we have some old back Japanese promos with the Game Boy Dragonite. Look at that hollow. Look at that Sugimori. Then we have Zokoro Computer Air, another Dragonite. And then these are WHF. Yep, there they go. You see the text. Actually, quick, quick comparison. This is the WHF, and then here's the uh, Gold Star, the original Gold Star. These are actually my favorite. I think they're a nice little touch. See that little stamp there? It's a little gold stamp on the two stars. This is WHF NWO promo. So there we go. Those are our first cards. Just some old back Japanese promos I'm pretty much buying every single month. And then this right here is going... Oh, okay. This is going to be a Southern Island. Is there another one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got a couple Southern Island. Are these like binder pages? Yeah, these are binder pages folded over. We can see a bit of the condition there. Probably not going to be grayable. These are going to be binder condition cards. Definitely see some whitening on them. I think this was part of a larger lot. So that's why, you know, people are like, wait, why would you buy binder cards? Uh, they're Southern Island, and anything Southern Island is always good for me. I can't get enough of Southern Island, so there you go. Uh, next up, we have some plastic wrap. This is actually not too bad so far compared to all my other openings. This is pretty pretty safe. We're going to have to pull out the Scissor Me Timbers real quick. There we go. Don't worry, there's going to be internal tape. This is Japanese packaging after all. Got through the first trap door. Now we got to roll under the boulder to get to the golden monkey. Oh, this is actually... Okay, so this is interesting. These are... I wonder if this is part... So this was in here. So this is a promotion from around... Whenever this gold was having, like, Breakpoint? Was that, like, 2015? And this was a promotion back then. These are some sleek energy cards. They came in, like, this pack of three. I think they were limited... A thousand, five thousand, somewhere in there. They were limited. Nice textured gold design. Japanese exclusive. I saw these at a really good price, and I'm like, yeah, why not? Actually, I think we have the dark ones here as well. I remember buying the dark ones. I bet these are going to be the dark ones. Uh, basically, there's a dark energy and then a grass energy for this release. I don't know why they chose those two, but that's what it is. And let's see if we're right. Yeah, there they go. So you go. This is the dark energy and then the grass energy. Uh, don't worry, there is also tape right there, right on the actual thing. So I'm going to do some surgery later off camera. But there you go. Those are the two energy promos that were released, again, only in Japan. Uh, there's like three to a pack, and they don't appear that frequently. I saw these recently. They were very good prices. I was like, yeah, why not? This is really good value. So there you go. Those are items that typically don't purchase every month, but saw them at a good value and picked them up. And then moving along, we have another larger package or larger thing. Oh, more? Is this more Southern Island? Maybe this is part of what I opened earlier. So these, this looks like a complete set, actually. Wait, don't worry. There's one more in there. Don't want to throw it away. There we go. Definitely don't want to throw away this one. This is actually my... I had this as a kid, like all three of these. I picked them up individually. Back then, you had to go to Toys R Us because internet and... Everything wasn't there like it is today, and you'd meet other kids. And I remember Southern Island back then was only in Japan, and this card blew me away, like how you could see Jigglypuff, and then I was like, whoa, you could see you know, Jigglypuff here, and then Butterfree and a bit of Jigglypuff, like mind blown. But yeah, I have this card. Actually, there's a crease here in the corner because I had it in my 90s cargo pocket and a soft sleeve. So yeah, there it is. More Southern Island. Can't go wrong with Southern Island. And if we're going to be really critical, I actually love the three, like these three the most. Like these guys, Mew, Togepi, and then Ladybug. Those are like my favorites because the artist is different uh, for the latter three with like Meryl, Slowking, and Vileplume. But at the end of the day, 
Southern Island is just peak for me. Let's check the let's check the condition real quick. Definitely not a crease on this one, like my personal. Oh boy, never mind. This one heard the story and it's like, don't worry, I got you, I got you, fam. There's your crease. <laughs> There's the crease that you wanted. So yeah, these aren't going to be gradable, uh, which is fine. Uh, I buy Southern Island all the time just because I like it. It's just one of those things. that's an emotional purchase. Like if I see a good value. I just love, oh, two for one. Here we go. Mew two. There's your dad joke for the video. But there you go. We got two Mews in this one. Oh, man. These actually are good. This one's really good. This is really clean. What did that ladybug do to deserve that crease? Like, this is so clean. These are both very gradable. This one's got a little whitening there. Is that part of the, no, it's not. A little bit of whitening. Oh, they're very good. I'm going to have to put these in my graded pile. Sorry, Lady Boo, I don't know what you did, but these Mews are just like, yeah, this is this is good. Good to go. So there you go. That probably pays for the whole purchase right there because everyone knows these are the cards, like the cards by far in Southern Island. Not only do you get Mew, there you go. You got Charizard Stonk in the background. So yeah, definitely the cards to have from Southern Island. I think we've spent enough time just obsessing over Southern Island, so we'll move on. We'll move on to something else. I'll put you in the back there, Lady Boo. Give you give you some respect, the respect that you deserve. All right, and then we have a couple other individual cards here. Honestly, the packaging this this round is not anywhere near what it what it was before. This is definitely not as treacherous as as what we've experienced in the past. I'm cut through this because of course there's tape. And I see more tape on the inside. Top loaders and team bags. Someone needs to make that a hashtag. Top loaders and team bags, Japan. Oh, there we go. We got a screen promo. Would it be a box opening without a screen promo? Here's another one. A side up just lying around. These actually have gone up in price, which is stating the obvious. This one, look at how this is packaged. Soft sleeve, tape. Tape on the team bag. Team bag, you got half, half credit, but you didn't do the top loader. So this one's probably going to have a little warp on it, maybe. Uh, but at the end of the day, these are really really gone up in price recently um and i think it's just because it might be maybe i'm going out on a limb here they might be really good artwork i don't know maybe it's a famous piece or something that's very historical or something like that uh but yeah this is just to me like 11 out of 10 some of the best pokemon cards ever printed in my opinion gotta give love to komiya every single time notice a little sableye there creeping up can't unsee it now and then we have one more ridiculously wrapped card Gonna have to do surgery on this guy. What? Watch it be like an energy or something. All this protection for like a gust of wind. Oh my God, so much plastic wrap. So much plastic wrap. It's like a freaking shopping bag, like a Costco bag. I don't even know if Costco gives you bags. If they do, these guys stole them all. All right, we're almost done. Look at this ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, Japan. There we go. Oh, actually, there's a little opening. Another Mew? I don't remember actually buying this guy. Maybe it was just a good price and I saw it. This one's not... It's actually gradable. It's gradable. It's not going to be as pretty as that other Mew. But it's definitely going to get, like, your local, you know, beauty pageant. One of those type of deals. Definitely going to be a standard of beauty goods, but not supreme unused beauty goods. So this is going to be gradable. Again, you guys see the Charizard wings there in the background. Don't worry. We'll do a full... I'm going to do a full Southern Island video eventually. I have like a master set of it that got a great, great binder we'll do eventually. But enough Southern Island. Put you in the back there. All right. Now to the big box, the grand finale, nine minutes in. This one is going to be interesting because I remember, I think it's a lot of, let me try to call it, a lot of um, early EX, I'm going to guess. I remember winning a collection from a guy who had a lot of like early new back stuff. And there we go. We can see it flirting tempting us from the top so let me just try let me take this out and we're gonna go through every single card in here don't worry try to take this out carefully i don't know what this what are these filler cards what's it what what <laughs> what are those poke was that ultra ball what is that what is this japan like why why like why do people collect this and why what is this guy doing here is he lost like what the heck so yeah, there's your Japanese, I don't know what, I don't know what this stuff is. Some, I don't know if I want to know. We're just going to put that aside. 
So here we go. Diving straight in. Here's a good card. I think that's the Charizard wing we saw earlier. But it is played. And I remember this is so this is the risk factor. Like we'll do a full breakdown. I remember this was like a one of those collection purchases where you're gonna get a mixture, you know, even within two cards, you can see the difference between the two. You're gonna get a mixture of conditions. So I'm gonna have to go through all these after the video and check out the condition. But wow, this is whoa. This is Players Club, Players Club, Zap Dose, Zap Trace, Articuno, Molt. This is really good right here. So we got a lot. Oh, okay. Another Charizard. We got multiple Charizards. And this one's decent. This one actually might go to the grading pile. This one's not too bad. Just a little bit of whitening. Okay. That's not too bad. And that's just the top. This thing is full of cards. Like, oh, there we go. Multiple Charizards. I need, I need, to, I need to hire a hype guy for this because I'm not doing it justice. I need to like increase the audio, open my mouth and the thumbnail. Another Charizard. Pro uh, that one's tough. Is it going to be gradable? I'm not sure. Yeah, these are really interesting. They're like near mint-ish, somewhere in there. Like they look clean. Like this guy's clean enough to grade. Some are clean enough to grade. Oh, there we go. That's a nice Salamence. Ooh, man, I remember when these were new. I remember when this card was new. I remember when you were new. I remember when all these Dragon Frontiers cards were new. So it looks like just all hollows. I've yet to see any filler. Like these are all hollow cards, hollow going through. Oh, Team Aqua Magma, you don't see that too often. More Hollows, wow. Yeah, a lot of the. oh, there's an EX again. Gengar, Gengar Collectors are spoiled. Gotta love Rocket Returns, another Rocket Returns. I don't know what that guy was doing. Ooh, there's some more Rocket Returns. Oh, God, that's so clean. Yes, yes, that's decent. These are good. Oh, man, I remember this back in the day. I remember, kid, I saw this car like a neighbor had this. That is crispy clean. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's a walk through 10. I remember a neighbor had this and I was like, what is 150 HP doing? Like, why is this all silver? This is like my first introduction to EX cards. Like, it was like when I was in high school. I was like, whoa, what is Pokemon doing? Didn't pull me back in. You didn't do your job, Agron, but both these are very gradable. Let me put those aside. I'm gonna have to go through, again, I'm gonna have to go through all this off camera, but I'm gonna try to show you everything in here because this is really exciting. A lot of cards. I'm sure Ethan's watching this one. Super thirsty for this EX era. This is all hollow cards. This person didn't collect a single common card. All hollows. Nothing but hollow grab. Hope you're appreciating all that. I mean, look at this. This is like full. Like we haven't even gotten into the actual like meat of this. It's still hollow cards. Like still, these are all still hollow cards. Man, and this stuff, okay, this era is actually tough to find because it's counterintuitive. It's the era when it wasn't too popular. He's hollow, please believe. So therefore, it's scarce. There's our Mag Cargo. I think his name's like Pierre or something. Precious Pierre, something like that. In in French, actually sold one in France and translated it, just learned that the other day. Uh, but back in on topic, these cards are actually pretty scarce. There's something that you're not going to find as consistently. Oh, that's clean. Very clean Vaporeon. Hold up. Vape it up, tape it up. Got to put that one in the, the gradable pile. There are so many hollow cards, I can't even hold them all. I'm like that, that meme of that girl. Oh, there's a nice whale lord. Meme with that girl holding her beanie babies. Can't even hold all this stuff. Oh, there's a Players Club Kyogre. And it's gradable. Man. This purchase was dead. Even if this purchase was like just ungraded it would still be a good value i wish i remembered the the price for it uh but yeah this is such a good mix of that ex era this is like is this every ex card like this might be like every ex card i didn't even think of that i haven't kept track i'm sure someone can go through and tally it up quad or let me know if you're watching <laughs> you'll, you'll do the math there's like e there's just ex cards peppered in there you gotta stop for me every time just like ex cards peppered in here look at that that Taros, this guy did not skip leg day. Good God, look at that dude. They got some energies. Is that the throwback? Is that the emerald energy? The little matrix energy. Man, so many hollow cards. Like nothing but hollow. This is not. This is crazy. This is crazy. And you're gradable. A lot of this is actually gradable. Like I can feel it. We have that. We have that ability now. When you've been doing it long enough, you could feel if they're gradable. And we're probably not. I don't even think we're halfway through. Still going. Now we're into the fire hollows. I can't believe this. I thought there'd be like some 
common uncommon cards. This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I haven't even looked. These are all like majority of these are gradable. It looks like the really like popular ones, like earlier when we saw Charizard, those were a little bit more played. That's a really nice art. A lot of them were played because they're, you know, Charizard, probably showing it off on the playground. Blastoise looking clean. What's the verdict? Oh, he's actually played. There you go, right on cue. Popular. We got a Palkia level X. I think with next one, I'm gonna wager might be hollow. Okay, just make it sure. Another hollow. God, I recognize. Oh, I remember when all these were new. When Secret Wonders was new. There's our Secret Rare Pikachu. There's our little Rally Pichu, Quiz Pichu, Luxray. I remember that was playable back in the day. Oh my God, are you tired yet of seeing hollow cards? Is this is has this become like? Have we saturated, self-saturated? Hitmonchan, yes. Nope, wait, little crease. See that right there? Staying in the ungraded pile. Going in the never-ending, speaking of Indiana Jones and the ball and the golden monkey, you have a never-ending pile of ungraded cards. Look at this Mewtwo. Man, I remember when this guy was new. I remember when all these cards, are, this is crazy. This is crazy. Another Mewtwo, there you go. We'll put you with your, your buddy there. Oh my god, so many hollow cards. That Mew looks gradable. We'll have to come back later. It's already been 16 minutes. I gotta gotta step it up a bit. Don't want people to switch over to a top 10 video on, on something. Then we have more hollows. I think there's gonna be okay, another hollow, another hollow. I think it might be okay. Some more hollows. Yes, yes. I see we're getting to the heart gold soul silver era. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm I'm running out of room. My desk to store this stuff. This hard gold silver is like a flash in the pan with that little gold silver border. Is this like complete? Is this a complete set? I gotta go through and tally all this afterwards. Remember that Arcanine? This is crazy. Oh, there we go. This guy, he's new. He's a newer card. There's our secret rare Pikachu. Super played. And then we got some full arts. Try to move this aside. I'm are you gradable? Yes, you are. Are you gradable? No. Whoa. This guy's like Power Rangers. I don't even know. That's like, that's beyond Pokemon. This is crazy. EX cards feel pretty clean. Man, it's a lot of EX cards. Got some Charizards. Definitely. Oh, here's the core one. That one kind of flies under the radar sometimes. Always got to stop on the Charizards. There we go. We got a little gym promo, Blastoise. And then we're going to try to do the last stack here. I think this is all of it. Okay. This is the final bit of cards. Let me break it down. So finishing off with all the steel Pokemon. I'm sorry, the commentary is not my usual uh, dad joke humor, but this is just like, I'm like stunned right now. I did not know all this is in here. We got an Arceus movie promo. Probably not going to be gradable, but that's okay. It's like every holo card. Everything from like middle to EX to like heart gold soul silver. There we go. Rayquaza, clean, definitely putting you in the graded pile. Salamence. Oh, the shinies are in here too. We're getting shinies, and he's clean. Man, okay, these are super hard to grade. Let me give you. We're gonna do a little lesson real quick on these guys. Let me find one that's not in a sleeve. Man, these are so clean. I can't even show you because they're so clean. Okay, Volpex kind of has it. So usually these have chipping on the front. This guy's pretty significantly played there on the front. But these usually chip on the front. Here we go. Drifloom. There we go. Queen Drifloom. Thank you for showing up. You see that little bit of whitening there? Let me try to focus it. It's very common on these cards. Very common. Of course, the camera doesn't want to cooperate. There you go. A little bit of whitening here. That's a very common occurrence. That front chipping. It's really tough to tell because white is so hard to capture. But that is very common for these shiny cards. They usually have front chipping. I've had cards that have more on the front. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like gloss or veneer or whatever uh, that makes it a little more difficult, you know, to stay mint condition. But yeah, it, it definitely has chipping more than any other card type I can think of. So yeah, these are crazy. God, some of these are gradable. These are awesome. These are like the shiny cards. I wish they had texture. That's my only complaint. It's definitely the shiny art. So that's really, you know, you don't have shiny cards that often. There you go, blue Voltorb. So yeah, that's awesome. Those are included. 
this guy as well is in here. And then last but not least, we got a pile of EX cards. A lot of EX cards. Just a lot. And these all feel super clean. Right when I say it, look at this guy. Look at this crunchy thing right here. What 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 did this do? What did this guy do to deserve that? Then we got our Power Ranger villain right there again. It's just nuts. My champ throwing hands. Ton of EX stuff. Who are you? Ton of EX cards. Celia, Evatol, Al Kazam, Jurassic Park, Tyranitar. What are you doing? This is man. This is nuts. So many new back cards, and these are all. These are like all. This is all the era that I remember very well. Well, I remember this guy. I remember on E4 we did a little campaign where someone in Japan you send them. I think it was like you had to have three redeem three cards to get this one. Oh no, this is the regular one. There was a shiny one you would get, and you redeem three from this set, and you get the shiny version of that Rayquaza. That was a fun, fun time. So there we go. 20 minutes later, we finally got through that behemoth. That was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And these are cards like that I'm not like super nostalgic for, but this is just such a crazy purchase. I mean, this is these were like new cards back in the day. Like my Dragon Frontiers, where you at? Dragon Frontiers, this was it back in the day. Like this was like the new set for me. So yeah, this is crazy. So there it is, guys. Uh a massive surprise for me. I knew, I remember buying a collection, but I didn't realize this much was included and there was no fat. Like this is all holographic cards. Like this person literally 100% holographic, nothing else, like no fat whatsoever. So this will be a lot of fun going through, separating what's gradable, what's not. But there you go. Won't take up any more of your time. Hopefully this is entertaining as usual. You know the deal. Let me know how you feel. And that's pretty much it, guys. Till next time.